Hello everybody and welcome back to another Lost related episode. I am done with Lost and I can't believe it. Like when I deleted the logo of Lost out of my um, schedule, I felt so weird. I don't, I don't know. Um, but some of you wanted me to react to the epilogue, the new man in charge. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today, but I also wanna talk about uh, some things. Because I was supposed to make a, like a video telling you how I felt about loss and all those things and what I thought about the ending and stuff. But um, I mostly have just questions <laughs> that I probably should have caught watching this show, but I didn't because it's me. And I mean, some people come at me and be like, you didn't pay enough attention, but it's easy for you to say you've seen the show like 10 times. Hello. Anyways, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna talk about this first and then uh, react to the man in charge. When I thought about the ending, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. It was... Not exactly what I was expecting, but what else did you want? Like, I don't understand people that complain because, oh, they all died. Well, we all, we're all gonna die. What are you expecting? Like, they all died in different moments, in different times, in different circumstances. And I thought the ending was super cool because they made this, like, weird church where they would meet after they died and just move on. I'm guessing, I don't know, going to heaven, hell, whatever. I'm, I have no idea what else is there. So I think it was a pretty nice ending. Like, I, I didn't need something super built up. I know the show gave everybody a lot of expectations and the ending is a big deal in shows and in movies and in everything. Um, but I really think it was, it wasn't the best ending ever, but it was, it was nice. What else did you want? Everybody dies. They died in different times. It was nice that they, they became such close friends. They became such a family that they built this place to meet up after they died. That was cool. Uh, so I, I wrote down some questions and some opinions. You know how I do. I, I, I write down things and then I, I, I do it like out of order and I don't understand my own, <laughs> my own writing. Uh, we're gonna go through this. Um, the first thing I wrote is Law should have been the new Jacob. If Jacob would have been just honest, I think, I think Law would have done the best job ever, even better. Then Jack, I know Jack sacrificed himself for the island and to kill the man in black and all this shit. But I think Log was the best option among all of them. They didn't want to stay. In the end, Jacob was like, it's your choice, bitch. It could have been my choice from the beginning. Why didn't you just come and tell me? Log wanted to stay. I don't know. I think it was very unnecessary to put them through all this shit to then tell them it was their decision. I don't understand why Eloise said they weren't ready when, uh, what's his name? Oh shit, oh wait, oh my God, Desmond. When Desmond was trying to bring them together again, uh, Eloise was like, they're not ready. Why weren't they, they ready? They were afterwards, right? I didn't understand that part. Big changing bands, it just, it was very frustrating to me. One second he was in Jack's side and then the other second he was in the Men in Black side and like, I understand trying to be in the winner team because nobody likes losing, but bitch, you need to make up your mind. Daddy Jack is, oh my god, I love him. At the end of the episode, when they're um, getting together in the church, Ben doesn't go in, and I don't understand why. 
I mean, I kind of understand. Yes, he changed bands like changing a pair of socks. Um, and he wasn't nice like at all. Uh, but we, we got to see more of the real band in this um, sideways, uh, flash sideways, whatever they're called. The real band that it could have, I mean, it could have been real if he, if Sayid, everything is Sayid. Say it's fault, but you know what I'm saying, right? This was the real man that he didn't nearly die and had to go with the smoke monster real man. We got to see him, and he was nice. He was kind of a nerd and a loser, but he was nice. And then he remembered everything he did, and he just couldn't go in the church. But at the end of the day, he was already family. He, he went through all this shit with our guys. And he lost way, way too much. And I think he thought he didn't deserve to go in the church and be reunited with everybody to move on. But I believe he was. He, did, he lost so much. Like, what else? You're already dead. What, why do you want to punish yourself even more? I think I was supposed to ask you guys questions. <laughs> But I totally forgot. Um, maybe I can answer them in the comments, or maybe I can make another video answering your questions. I kind of want to pick like a best character redemption story, whatever. But I have no idea. Uh, definitely not Kate. I'm sorry for Kate lovers. Um, I don't hate her, but I don't love her. So definitely not Kate. Uh, also not Charlie, he was just an addict and yes, he quit and all this, but that's like, that's a day to day here. Like <laughs> half of my family have gone through rehab, so <laughs> that's pretty normal. Uh, that, that, that doesn't count as a redemption arc to me. A part of me just wants to say Ben without even thinking, but I also don't love Ben. But he's life though. And in the end, he was, I don't know, he was just going from band to band, side to side, not picking and, oh, but he was nice. I think Ben's got the best redemption arc, maybe. My favorite character, besides Charlie, because we know, we know I love Charlie and that's never gonna change. I think it was Jack. Oh my god, no, Sawyer's arc was also amazing. Like, we hated him so well. I hated him so much in the beginning. I couldn't stand his face, and then it just became this awesome person. Every single character has an amazing arc, even Kate. <laughs> they had such a sad story behind the character, and in the end, everything just Whoop, it clicked again. It was, I don't know, fucking lost, man. It, it's fucking amazing. It was fucking amazing. And yes, I think I'm gonna answer your guys' questions. If you, there is anything that you wanna know, like anything in a specific that you wanna know, then ask me your question and let me know if I should make another video or if I should just reply in the comments. But yeah, this is last serious epilogue the new man in charge i don't think i said epilogue right is that how you say it probably not but here we go i always forget to turn down the volume i hate this How soon do you get those peas labeled? I don't know, a couple hours. Hurry it up, man. I already got the rest of the pallet loaded. I don't know why yours is such a big hurry, man. That's why. We're gonna miss our launch window. I don't wanna be up half the night loading damn boxes. Excuse me. Who the hell are you? Speaking of the How devil. Get in here? My name is Benjamin Linus. I'm from the home office. No 
Nobody from the home office has ever come out here. There's a new man in charge. He sent me. Sent you to do what? Tie up a few loose ends. Your services are no longer required, gentlemen. We're closing this place down, so you're free to go. But we've been loading the pallets under the drones for like 20 years now. What are we supposed to do? This is your severance pay. I'd say you can do pretty much anything you want. Okay, my charger stopped working and the battery of this laptop is not So, the you best, work with the so Dharma Initiative? It might turn off. The Dharma Initiative hasn't existed in almost 20 years. That's not true. We still get a teletype before every drop. It's automated. It comes from the lamppost station in L.A. There hasn't been a person posted there since you two started. That's why the man in charge has me going around closing up shop. Lamp post station? I've already said more than I should have. Before you leave, please lock the doors and turn off the lights. Wait! You, you can't just walk out of here. We deserve answers! What do you think you All right. <laughs> Before I go, I'll let you each ask a question. But just one, so make it count. Where have we been sending these pallets? Where are they dropped? An island. How's that possible? The coordinates One are different inch. every time. The island moves. One inch! How does the island... Stop! Have question. Your turn. We're on Guam. So this island is somewhere in the tropics, right? So explain this. Polar bear biscuits. How is there a polar bear on a tropical island? Polar bears, actually. Plural. You don't need to answer this. You don't need to show them. You guys have a DVD Stop. player? So we watch it together, and then we all leave. Is that a deal? Yeah. No. Deal. We do as I say, because I am the boss of you. I have another boss. And Sorry about the quality. It's a transfer from an old He's not here, man. so I'm in charge. Hello, I'm Dr. Pierre Chan, and this is the orientation video for Station 1 of the Dharma Initiative, the Hydra. For purposes of security, please do not divulge my name to any outside parties. I will not have to resort to using an alias in the future. The chief purpose of this station is to conduct biological and behavioral research on various animal, bird, and marine subjects. Well, here are some of the duties you may be asked to perform. <laughs> Genetic alteration. These fascinating hybrids, or hybrids as we call them, will be released and monitored to see how they adapt to the unique properties of the eye. Successful advanced studies in larger mammals. Ursus maritimus, or polar bears, possess a keen sense of memory and adaptability. These traits make them ideal candidates for electromagnetic studies that will be conducted at a secondary site where their comfort in cold temperatures. It's very important when dealing with the bears that you do not show affection or become attached in any way. Also, do not underestimate their intelligence and cunning. Well, can you not become These attached to another must living thing? always be followed. I repeat, oh, the shit. bears are not <laughs> your friends. Rewarding the bear with a fish biscuit once it has successfully performed the complex puzzle. After the training is completed, you will tranquilize the bear, affix this tracking device around the subject's neck, at which point it will be transported to the orchid station for the next phase of research. Remember, be sure to confirm that the female bears have not been impregnated before transport, as the electromagnetic levels at the orchid have an extremely harmful effect on early term gestation. As you've already learned, we do animal research here at Hydra. Unfortunately, one must consider the most dangerous animal of all, humans. And so, there is another more secluded test site, where we are conducting significantly more sensitive work. The island's indigenous population, some of you may have heard them referred to as hostiles, <coughs> are acquired on the main island, sedated, and brought here to room 23. Because the subjects are unwilling participants, security personnel should always be present during these sessions. Under no circumstances are you to engage subjects in conversation. 
The purpose of these interrogations is to better understand the hostile's way of life. So is and this, and was this just made to show us? The island deity they refer to as Jacob. After the research team has concluded their tests, the Dharma Initiative, no, sorry, to the back I need to of the subject's again. neck. Particularly, their worship of an island deity they refer to as the purpose of these interrogations is to better understand the hostile's way of life, their origins, and particularly their worship of an island deity they refer to as Jacob. Oh my god, I'm so pissed off. I hate the Dharma Initiative. I hate them. They, they fucking mess with animals and they mess with people. With the people that have been living here since before them. And they treat them like like they're nothing. Like we're gonna experiment them and see why they are worshipping this deity. Like that's not none of your fucking business. This is my fucking island. Fucking leave. <sighs> After the research team has concluded their tests, inject this into the back of the subject's neck and place these goggles over his or her eyes. Hitting this switch will commence the visualization while the drugs take effect. I'm sorry, Miles, I hate your dad. The dreamlike quality of the film combined with the cutting edge pharmaceuticals will create an amnesia of sorts. Any memory of his or her interrogation will be effectively wiped clean. While these derogative measures may seem extreme, rest assured, they are vital to temporary troops and the hostiles is not violated. This concludes your orientation of the Hydra Station. Good luck, and remember, do not discuss the nature of these experiments with other members of the initiative. Enjoy your time here on Hydra Island. Namaste. Ben, where are you showing them this? I think we're going to need to see that again. Sorry, we're out of time. What did they do to those bears? And what the hell's a hostel? Goodbye, gentlemen. I have another call to make. Namaste. That was hella creepy, that namaste was hella creepy. Hello, I'm here to see Keith Johns. Are you on his visitors list? No, but I'm sure if you give him this note, he'll want to see. Hello, Walt. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. Like my note said, a friend of yours sent me. I don't have any friends. We all have friends. Even me. Even him. You here to kidnap me again? I'm genuinely sorry about that. But what's done is done. I can't change the past. I can only take responsibility for it. Walt, I understand what you've had to go through. I know the difficulties you've had pretending to be someone that you're not. Walt, I'm here to help you. Why? Because you're special. And I bet nobody's told you that in a very long time. What good does that do me? We need you. You have work to do. Starting with helping your father. My father's dead. He's trapped in the island. Doesn't mean you can't help him. He's spirit. But he wasn't in the church, was he? I didn't see Will him. Will you go with us, Walt? I think. Get the shit out of my face! <laughs> I would freak. I would totally freak. Come on, it's okay. You ride shotgun. Get 
dude. Hurley. It's great to see you, Walt. Why is he sitting in the back? I kept hoping one day somebody would come back for me. I thought I was crazy. You're not crazy, dude. Not even close. You just need to get back to the island, that's all. It's where you belong. It's where you've always belonged. No, that crazy dog, I don't like Why? it. Why? I'm going to talk to you about a job. All right, Ben. They're going to give here. him the Jacob Time for us all to go home. Okay, so I'm guessing they took Walt back to the island because he was going to be Hurley's um, next in line. I don't know how to say it. You know what I mean. But Hurley was still fine. He didn't need to resign the job, right? He never wanted to be a leader, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This got me very emotional. Especially, especially hearing the... the the ending song again. I can't believe I'm done with Lost. And I can't believe how big Walt got. That too. The dad, uh, Michael, he wasn't in the church. And he wasn't, because he's, I guess, spirit, soul, whatever, is trapped in the island, right? But they took Walt to help him, to help his spirit, to help release him, I guess. But I don't think I saw him in the church. I'm not sure though. Anyways, um, this video is already pretty long. I have talked way too much and I need to film another few more videos. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm kinda sad. I don't wanna say goodbye because maybe this is the last thing I will ever see you have lost. I mean, I rewatched the show at some point, but it's never the same. Thank you for watching this epilogue. Is that how you say it? With me. And remember to leave your questions or just, I don't know, whatever you want to know in the comments. Uh, obviously, lost related. So I can answer uh, either in a video or just in the comment. And as always, I'm Serviana and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man If you never wanna grow, take my hand I'll take you to Neverland I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man If you never wanna grow, take my hand I'll take you